Coward, Mac fainted as Omid accused the Sussexes of using him to dish more dirt on the royal family. Royal expert Phil Dampier has slammed Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, labeling them cowardly and claiming the Sussexes are just using Omid Scobie to dish some more dirt on the royal family. British journalist and royal expert Phil Dampier claims Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are just using their cheerleader Omid Scobie to dish some more dirt on the royal family in his forthcoming book, Endgame. The British journalist said that it's a cowardly move from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex after Mr. Scobie teased the release of his new book on Twitter on Wednesday, warning it will reveal information that the firm should be afraid of. I think that the monarchy will still be going strong for decades after this little guy is long forgotten. I mean, it's cynical and it's cowardly, isn't it? First of all, the Sussexes claim that they don't know him or have had anything to do with him. If you believe that, you'll believe anything. They're really using him, aren't they, to dish some more dirt. Mr. Dampier said Mr. Scobie has the power to cause damage to the royal family throughout the book, particularly if he names the alleged racist royal who supposedly questioned the color of Archie's skin. I disagree that he can't do any damage. I mean, I think if he names, for example, the person who was allegedly the racist who queried Archie's skin color, it's just the thing that the king could do without at this moment. So it's just going to cause more problems, but I don't know where it's going to end, if it ever ends. I mean, are we going to get another book from Megan? Are we going to get another book from Omid? It's just going on and on and on. Mr. Wooten replied that it's interesting that Omid Scobie's book is called Endgame because the only thing that's ending is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's careers. That's not a very sensible title because only a few months ago, Omid Scobie thought that it would apply to the royal family. Actually, the only thing that it applies to right now is Harry and Meghan. The GB News host questioned why the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's unofficial spokesperson is warning that this book will reveal moments that the royal family should be ashamed of when it has been less than a month since sources close to the Sussexes told The Sun they will stop publicly attacking the royal family. The well-placed insiders told the publication that periods of their life is over and that there's nothing left to say. It's been under a month since sources close to the Sussexes says that, which begs the question why Omid Scobie, the royal spokesperson of the pair, is warning that his next book will reveal moments that the British monarchy should be ashamed of. Scobie has continued the propaganda campaign. No one will doubt his dedication to his craft, nor the fabulous flexibility with which he approaches it. But it appears that the process takes its toll on Omid Scobie, who announced this week that this next book would reveal moments that the royal family should be ashamed of. For I can disclose that Scobie, to whom, after the initial denials, Meghan Markle admitted passing information while he was co-authoring his debut book, Finding Freedom, has fallen foul of the authorities of Company's House. Noting that both the accounts and annual return for Scobie's publishing company, May You Limited, are late, it has issued a strike-off notice against it. Unless cause is shown to the contrary, the company will be struck off the register and dissolved not less than two months from the date shown, the notice explains, before adding that if dissolved, all of Mayu's properties and rights will belong to the Crown. The warning has a particular piquancy, given that earlier this week, Scobie announced that his next book will be entitled Endgame.